Hello, welcome to Paint All the Minis. Tonight we continue with the Storming the Citadel campaign, Scenario 6, Breaking Through. So tonight we'll start with the mission briefing for Scenario 6, Breaking Through. Background. With Butovo cleared, Grosdeutschland continued its advance to break into and they hoped through the Soviet main line of defense in the vicinity of Cherkoskoy. The Soviet defenders fight on in the hope of promised armored support. This will be scenario three from the rulebook, attack on an objective. The objective will be this church, which the Soviets must hold. The Germans have to come into contact with the church and be touching it when the Soviets are driven off of the board. The Germans are gonna get three or four patrol markers anywhere on that edge, uh, their short edge over there. The Russians are gonna start with four patrol markers on the objective itself. The Germans will also get 1d3 plus 1 free moves. The Germans will be placing 3 jump off points. The Soviets will be placing 3 jump off points as well, plus 1 additional free jump off point on the objective. Uh, the Soviet forces, Soviets will be fielding a fresh platoon plus 1d6 3 support points along with any additional squads uh, from the last scenario. So we were able to evacuate many of the wounded from Lieutenant Petrov's platoon, so we will be fielding three additional squads on top of our fresh platoon. The Germans will be fielding one of the core platoons from their company, along with 1d6 plus 10 support. So as far as the campaign goes, this is Battle 7. This is the last chance the Germans have to win a major victory. So they have to take Turkosoy this battle if they want a major victory. Uh, they will get one more chance in the next battle, Battle 8, should, it, should the Soviets pull this off. And if they win that one, they will be getting a minor victory. And I believe anything after that will be Soviet victory, having stopped uh, the German advance. Terrain-wise, a lot of soft cover. Everything on this board is soft cover. So all the buildings are soft cover, being wooden huts. Church itself is also soft cover. These little things are soft cover, small orchards, 6-inch visibility. We have three areas of rough ground, which is pretty much tall grass. If you are stationary in there, you get soft cover. This is a hill, it's supposed to be a hill, so this is the best hill I have. So no line of sight if you're behind it, and no cover if you're on top. And that is it for the terrain, pretty straightforward, a lot of open ground on this one. Um, so now we'll go ahead and look at the platoons that we will both be using tonight. We'll start by looking at the Soviet force. So this is a fresh platoon led by Lieutenant Igor Radmanovich. He's there, he's armed with pistol. The platoon consists of four squads, two squads with a single machine gun, two man crew, six rifles, two squads with dual LMG, two crew, four rifles, each led by a sergeant with submachine gun. We also have what's left over of Lieutenant Petrov's platoon. So Lieutenant Petrov is no longer with us He's been given command of a company and is sent off elsewhere. So what's left of his platoon are three squads. We have one dual, M dual LMG squad and two single LMG squads. Each one is missing one man, which I took in one rifle out of each squad. And each squad is also led by a sergeant with submachine gun. As far as P uh, personal opinion, uh, new platoon, so no, no opinion of himself. Uh, the men's opinion is back to zero. And the CO's opinion is still at plus two, but that does nothing um, unless I happen to win this battle and his opinion goes up again to plus three, then I'll get an additional support. So pretty much starting from scratch, just with three extra squads, which sounds good on the surface, and it is, but controlling seven squads with one senior leader is not going to be easy. It's going to be a lot of fighting for those threes, so... Uh, that's it for the Soviets. We'll take a look at the German force. So this is a fresh platoon. Otto Bach is leading it. Since Mueller has finally run his course after winning consecutive victories. Yeah, Mueller is down nine men. Yeah. And Axman is down five men. So um, these guys, uh, standard Panzer Grenadier platoon, two double MGs in each squad. And then, what's, is my... CO's opinion good? Uh, your CO's opinion is at minus two. Oh, that's but not that good. does no effect yet. Not yet. Not standard platoon at full strength. Okay, so we'll go ahead and roll up our uh, support. 
and our morale, and then we'll get started. We'll start with support. So we'll just roll it up here. D6 plus three for me. A four. Ooh, you got a one. So you're at uh, 11, and I'm at seven. So let's roll up our force morale. Uh, Cole is at a plus two for his special rule, and I'm just normal. So you're at an 11, and I'm at a nine. So Cole will place his jump off points anywhere on his edge, and then we will do the patrol phase. complete so he got uh, what was it three free moves yep he chose to use four patrol markers and he started them in the middle kind of in the middle of his edge uh, so Cole wound up with two patrol markers or jump off points here and one more in that tall grass over there by the way I'm gonna be using my new swagger stick as a pointer <laughs> I've gotten some recommendations or well recommendation one recommendation and some uh, complaints about camera movement and I know I've been trying to do better at that it's just it's not easy so my good friend Jim Bob said why don't you get a pointer and so I did so we'll give it a try the way it's gonna work um, I can point at stuff obviously within arms range directly but if something's across the table I'll just put the tip of the bullet over the unit that I'm referring to anyway um, so the Soviets wound up with a jump off point here jump off point there, jump off point behind that hill, and I get the free one on the objective itself. So just to recap, I have seven support points. Cole has 11, he's also got 11 on his force morale, and I have nine on my force morale. And I think that is it for the preliminary stuff, so German phase. Correction. <laughs> Cole reminded me we haven't even picked support or done plans or anything, so <laughs> we will do those and then we'll do the German phase. <laughs> Soviet plan. I have seven support points. What I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring three entrenchments, two minefields, and the flamethrower. So I'm bringing all the entrenchments and static defenses because I will get to bring those into the next battle for free should I win this one. Uh, I've really seriously debated bringing a pregame barrage, but I'm pretty sure he's going to bring a flamethrower tank and bringing a barrage would, would slow him down. It would make me deploy early, but that would just give more targets to the flamethrower tank. So anyway, I'm gonna put the two minefields right here to block this area off. He's got two jump off points here, so he's gonna be, he's not gonna be able to move through here. He's gonna to have to go all the way around uh, into the open. I have a jump off point here. I'm hoping to get at least a couple squads up here in entrenchments. I would love to get a squad. Well, I don't know if I really need this now. If he's not going to be able to come through here, unless he brings an engineer squad or the pioneer squad or a team of pioneers to clear the minefields, uh, I might put a squad here just to keep them from trying to clear the minefields. Other than that, I'm just going to react. Um, I can deploy from here along this fence. I can cover that area. I can deploy into this house, assuming it doesn't get burned down and I can deploy squads onto this hill from there so covering the open area as well so I'm going to wait as long as I can to deploy um, hopefully it doesn't bring a pregame barrage um, that's the last time I believe that really hurt me in one of the battles that we did but uh, that's about it uh, so minefields three squads and entrenchments flamethrower team just to uh, hopefully spring an ambush if he gets up close to the objective and just wait and see what he does and which way he goes. That is the Soviet plan. All right, so with my support options being limited by 11, I think I am going to go with a Flame Panzer III and a Mortar Battery Observer. Um, the Mortar Battery is because he has so many units to work with and I do not, contrary to the Dice Gods, so with that, the Flame Panzer III is going to come in right here in this area 
the mortar battery is also. With that objective or jump off point over there, it's kind of a backup option just in case I need it, but I doubt it. I think my main thrust will be right here through the village because of the amount of cover I have to afford me and it gives me the most protected approach. Through here, I got this one. And this jump off point right here allows me six inches so I can get about right here. And then I can move up from there. Um, with the Flame Panther 3, it has a 36 inch range of um, flame shot. So I can burn him out and I suspect he's gonna have a lot of hard cover. The mortar battery will block off from right here. This general area, I suspect he'll be the most. If not, I can do it right here and block this up as I advance. Um, with the amount of men he has, he can be really tricky with how he uses support points. So I could have a bunch of entrenchments to fight through or a lot of flamethrower support teams since he has seven support points so this should be interesting but general game plan is push up right through the center of the village and hope to take the day all right so that is the plans now we will go into the german phase so before he goes into his uh, first phase i did deploy two of my support options which are those two minefields they are touching the fence is just in the way but you're not Andre, so you won't try to squeeze through that gap. That's an Andre. That would be an Andre move. <laughs> hey, look, there's a little bit of space in between I could get through. Um, also, uh, for his special rules, he does get four bonus uh, command dice that you can use once. Um, in one in any phase, and they're a one-time use each. And you don't have a chain of command point yet that I know of. <laughs> so, go for it. Three fives. And a single six. And the single six also gives him a chain of command point. So I said three fives because one of them was a single six. Hmm. And a three and a two. With his three and his two, he brought two squads in here. Put the one on the left on Overwatch. Soviet phase. All fives. A five, okay. And the rest of the stuff, I will do nothing. Back to the Germans. It's another five and a three ones and a three. All right, well, Cole's brought in all of his support. Uh, Flam Panzer III, uh, six inch, you have to come in right there. And then uh, a, the mortar battery spotter is right here. And that is all he's gonna bring, right? I have a two, but. He's got a two left, so he's got, you're not gonna bring that last squad in? I mean, if I put them where they would be best served, they might get chewed up. Yeah. All right, Soviet phase. Long fives. No fives. Damn, man, I just need some damn fives. Okay, your phase. You're getting all the fives. You're already up to full dice, huh? And then two twos and a four. So Cole brought his uh, senior leader on. Let me grab my pointer. Let's remember this. Senior leader on. And he ordered this squad here to do covering fire and the distance is nine inches for the whole squad. So we're covering the whole front of that building. And is now the Soviet phase. Yay, a five. I'm up to two. <laughs> and here we go. Double phase. And two, three, four. All right, so the first of his double phase. Flying Panzer moved up uh, 2d6, got five, I believe. Four. Four. <laughs> the infantry got five. Yeah, they moved up as well, and they were ordered to throw a smoke grenade. What's that, with the three? Yes. And there, there it is. Oh, no, the, the three was with the tank. Tank. The two was with these guys. All right, all right. The four was with those guys. The four had these guys continue covering fire, and then these guys were move up and smoke. Okay, and also... The mortar spotter called in a ranging shot and it landed, tried to land on top of the building, it landed there. So, squad over there now, they moved up, threw a smoke grenade, they're still uncovering fire, and the tank moved up, and we go into the next phase. Oh boy, that was not good. A lot of fours, that's a good German roll. Well, if I hadn't 
and the chain of command point. If I had brought another senior leader, yeah. Uh, Panzer III moved up 10, so he's up to there. Uh, the senior leader ordered the mortar spotter to fire, and he landed it right on the house this time with his ranging shot, so next, next uh, phase he can call in the barrage. And that's it. Soviet phase. General Patton. Oh, double phase, yay, no fives. Uh, let me think, let me think. Soviets are doing nothing but rolling. Man, I cannot get the damn fives I need. All right, that's it, your phase. Bunch of ones, well, you can do a lot with that. So he used one of his special dice. Came up with three ones, a two, a three, and a four. So with all the support dice Cole had, he did a lot of stuff. He obviously called in the battery, or the barrage, and landed it there. Uh, the tank moved up only two. These guys moved up tactically six to there. Looks like that squad has moved as well. And then these guys were put onto Overwatch. And these guys moved, right? Yes. Okay. Soviet phase. I know fives again, but another double phase. Ah, boy. With the two, I did bring one squad in, but they are behind the hill, so they're out of line of sight. But I figure I better start bringing some of these guys in. Just so they're on the board. Uh, next phase, two fives, there we go. And I could bring another squad in back there. Uh, I brought another squad in behind the church. I do have a jump off point in there. And they're out of line of sight. So I got two squads now out of line of sight. And it's the German phase. Oops, five. Two more chain of command points, all right. And then two twos and a three. All the squads on this uh, side, including the tank, have moved up, but they each moved like two inches or less. <laughs> so they're a little wary. Uh, they know there's some Soviets hiding on the board somewhere. And they are, well, obviously getting the flam panzer in position to cover the hill. And Soviet phase. Well, and I need a triple three here, end of turn. <laughs> or triple six, I guess. Two more fives. I got my chain of command dice. And two threes and a four. I did bring in the third of the uh, extra squads from Petrov's platoon here. So that's all of Petrov's platoon uh, on the board now, all out of line of sight. I have a full chain of command dice and it's the German phase. Two more, hey look at that, two more chain of command points. Alright, so both of these squads moved up tactically, only got two inches each. And then the tank moved up four inches, and that is it for the Germans. Uh, back to the Soviets. Two more fives, sweet. Oh, I need all the chain of command points I can get. And two fours, which is nothing I can do with that. Germans, another double phase. I need you to roll three of those. Nah. <laughs> yeah, in the turn, make you spend one of those on keeping that barrage going. No, well, if it if you the if the fruits of this show, like the last game, we're gonna accumulate way more than we should of chain of command. Possibly. Possibly yes. So you wind up with two fours. Oh. Both of these squads advance one five, one four. Still tactical. Next phase. And <laughs> two three more chain. Of command. So what can you do with those? Uh, Interrupt. You don't have anything left though. You can move a jump off point, avoid morale checks. So that's going to be take a, one. that's going to be key in this game for all both of us. Yes. Because, but we all we both usually forget about it until it's too late. Pretty much. So you got two threes. All right. So he's moved his uh, tank moved up six. Six. And then the squad on the left of the tank moved up tactically one inch. And we move directly into the. Soviet phase, double phase, no fives, next phase, come on, give me three, three of these babies, no, I need three sixes there, but I got another five, and we will let the Germans go again, uh, a couple fours, two and a three, tank one on overwatch, and the squad next to them moved up sort of almost into that, fully into that tall grass, and then the other squad uh, back there moved up just two more inches, so very hesitant to move are these Germans. Not hesitant, they're just ah. tripping. I almost I got another double phase, but not three. Of course, he's got so many chain of command dice, it doesn't even matter now. 
I mean, I guess it's always be good to make them burn one, but. All right, uh, three, a one, and a four. I do nothing. You're abdicating. Yeah, actually, I did get a double phase. Hold on. Another five. So we're just waiting. Biden time until the Germans get up here. Now it's their phase again. One, two, three, four, five. So the squad next to the tank moved fully into the high grass tactically, so they are now, they'll be in hard cover in there. This is a smoke grenade he threw, not part of the barrage. And I think that was it. Or oh, the other squad moved up too, yes, right? They, they crept up there. So the Germans are creeping. They're doing a good job moving. And back to the Soviets. Two more fives. Now I have two full ones. Okay. All right, I'm not going to do anything. After a long debate, I've really <laughs> tempted to do to to do it, but it's not quite the right time yet. Okay. So working on this fourth chain of command dice and a two and two ones. So all that happened was he just backed his tank up, which is no longer on Overwatch, by the way. Oh yes, sorry. And Soviet phase. That's what I got. Oh, that bounce still was a, almost a double face. <laughs> two, right. two, one, three, and another chain of command point. This squad here moved up tactically. Six. They went on Overwatch, and the tank went back on Overwatch as well. Back to the Soviets. Okay, yeah. Again, nothing. I'm just waiting on you, man. And you're waiting on another double phase? Or something. <laughs> I'm contemplating. It's kind of a... If you get five chain of command dice, you can spend them to have a double phase. How about that? That'd <laughs> <laughs> be kind of a cool house rule to burn some of those dice up. We might have uh, to with the way we're accumulating them. One, two, three, four. So all the Germans did was that squad over there moved up tactically further up into the well, field. Actually, and then I will move the barrage forward. He's going to move the barrage. The barrage has moved six inches towards me. Very close to this squad here. Soviet phase. Double phase, but not the dice I needed to take advantage of it. This squad just moved back away from the barrage, and I did bring another squad in here off of this jump off point. Um, so we're the, the fence is blocking my sight right now, as well as the barrage. So next phase, another double phase. Okay then. Uh, hmm. And another five. The three of those guys moved up, and I got an eight. Moved all the way up to the building. Next phase. Come on, triple six. No. <laughs> Of course, like I said, with four chain of command dice, it's not like it's going to hurt you to keep the barrage going at this point. Um, and a bunch of twos and a one and a four. This squad went on Overwatch, the two and a one. And this squad over here hopped the fence. And that's all I'm going to do. German phase. Couple twos, couple fours. Senior leader used the four to move himself into a better position to be within range of both squads, and that was it. Another five. One, two, three, three as well. This squad just kind of backed up against the edge, and that's really all I'm going to do. German phase. Look at that. Hey, look at that. More chain of command points. <laughs> really, I guess there's not a whole lot to do with them right at the moment. No. And no. then you wind up with two threes. This squad here just moved up tactically a little bit. Back to the Russians. The tension is building. A two, two fours, and a six. All right, so I'm gonna, I move them up, and I'm just gonna fire them with half effect. Uh, three hits. I went further than I wanted. I, I moved one d six. I got a six. I did not want to go that far. Yeah, unfortunately, you didn't specify. Otherwise, you would well, there's nowhere to specify to go. Yeah, I mean, there's no obvious terrain feature to, to stop at. You can, you can select a point on the board. No, it has to be like a feature. Oh. oh. If it's open ground, you have to go the distance. Uh -huh. So three hits. Spread across one, two, and three. Okay. 
First team? Nothing. Second team? Nothing. <laughs> Third team. Shock. One point of shock. Oh, well. On These guys in light cover, uh, yeah, shock. Okay. Yeah, well, that isn't exactly what I wanted, but whatever. <laughs> and what do I have left? Um, so that was a two. Yeah, that's all I have. Your phase. You're going to have to move those uh, chain of command dice out of the way eventually. <laughs> there's, there's so many of them. Well, I'll start getting the smaller dice I can accumulate more. Like, oh, look. I have, I have room. <laughs> <laughs> right. Small dice for so many. And what did you come up with? Two, three, is a two and a four. Senior leader ordered this squad to open fire on them. I used one of my dice to interrupt to move back. Can you put a point of shotgun on them for me, by the way? I used all three just so I made sure I made it. <laughs> and so they just wound up moving kind of this direction, tactically facing the fence over here. Soviet phase. Hey, I'm back up to two. And then two ones, three and a four. This squad here, uh, this time I would have moved to the edge of the house. There is a terrain feature to move to. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to fire onto his uh, spotter team over there with half effect. Uh, two hits, assuming I'm within 18. Should be. Yeah, two hits. Just barely. Top cover. One shock. And sure phase. Okay. Use one of my special dice. Got a lot to work with. So Cole moved the barrage um, kind of back that direction six inches. Move 1d6 up with these guys. The, in the front rank here is in within four. They're going to fire half effect. Nine shots at this Russian and a hand grenade. And a hand grenade. So the hand grenade hits. Yep. Two uh, hits. Two hits in the open. Okay. I guess might as well just do it all because it's all going to be in. Oh, actually, no, those would be in the open. So I'll do those separate. Oh, I got to roll a hit, though. Don't so I? two shock. No, it's automatically two hits. Oh, that's. Yep. That's been a while. You roll the. If you, as long as you roll over the distance to the target. Yep, that's right. It's then it's uh, two hits. So two points of shock. Yep. Then needing fours. Five. Five hits. Five hits off cover. Uh, point of shock. So three points of shock. I'm going to spring an ambush now. Oh no! <laughs> with my flamethrower, and I'm going to hit that squad. Okay, so 12 shots on that squad. They're isolated now, so... No! <laughs> then fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. So split them up between the teams. Um, crap. All right, first team. Uh, dead and six shock. Oh my god. And then a dead and two shock on the other. Okay, so two dead. Roll for your leader real quick. Or put the shock out there, I guess. Six shock on this team. Two shock on that team. That's the same. <laughs> Um, roll for your leader. It is him. See what happens to him. He loses a command initiative, lightly wounded. Uh, bad thing, unless you want to use one of your dice to ignore it. I will. Okay. So use the dice to ignore that. So, uh, light, actually, which roll to see which leader it is, because you're, it's your senior leader. So he loses a uh, command initiative. Okay. So wounded senior leader, ignored the bad thing, uh, and one dead, and then... A buttload of shock, eight <laughs> shock on that squad all of a sudden. All right, all right, so that was effective. Lured them over, gave them something to shoot at. They took the bait and they paid the price. A five, so I'm starting on another one. And then two threes, a two, and a four. I brought this squad in with one of the threes. I'm going to fire at them. So soft cover from the fence and the trees. Not a very good roll. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. So split them up. All right. 
Left. Damn, that is just not. So anymore. right squad, your right or my right? <laughs> oh, right and then left. But so these guys are that whew, one. That's bad. So a dead and a shock here, and a dead and a shock here. Roll for your leader again. I'll roll a two. It's him again. See which one it is. Junior. He's knocked unconscious. So bad thing unless you want to spend another um, command base. So uh, it's minus two. <laughs> Should have spent it. So you lost two men. Uh, one man. One man and a wounded leader. How many shock are you at here? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, They're seven, pinned. eight. They're pinned. Actually, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine guys. So they are pinned. Now they will be in hardcover for sure. This squad, uh, yeah, we'll take a shock off. So take a shock off. These guys are going to fire uh, at the observer again. Machine gun and two rifles, eight shots. Eight hit, no, seven hits. Soft cover. Also got a new dice cup. Oh, uh, three dead. They're they're wiped. So now I can end the barrage, and you can't bring it back. I'm, I think. I'm assuming you have to have that guy on the board in order to keep a barrage going. My thing. So bad thing, unless you want to spend a dice on it. No, I'll spend a dice. Okay, yeah. so he ignores that bad thing. I made the fall. I'm not doing the last one. Well, junior leader wound is not. I mean, it's 50%. There's a good chance you won't get anything. So, not spending one on a junior leader is not is a good is not a bad idea. You just rolled bad. So that's two threes. I got a uh, four and a two left. I might I might as well throw a grenade myself. So these guys uh, will throw a grenade at need nine. I'll make it. So nothing. So I got to four and a two left, which. I'm not going to do anything with it. So let's go right into the German phase here. Three, four, another German roll. Not a great roll for you. All Cole did was with the senior leader, he just took two shock off uh, because he only has two commands left. Took two shock off that squad there. Double phase. Oh man. That stupid flame pans are still on Overwatch. All right, so I wound up with a four, or three, and a two. With the two, this dual machine gun squad is going to fire at these guys. So they are in hard cover now because pinned. So I'm getting 18 shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits again. So we'll start over here. Yeah. A dead and two shock, and a two dead. Roll for your leader. It's not. So two dead out of here. A dead out of here, and two shock. So you're at ten with one. Two, three, four, five. You're actually bro you actually break because he doesn't count. So take a uh, so you're gonna move back straight that way. Actually, these guys were the shooting, so you're actually gonna move kind of in that direction. Um, D6 plus what'd you get? Eight. Okay, so D6 plus eight that way, and they break. Fourteen. I don't think I ever really got to actually shoot my other no. squad. So the squad broke. Uh, they took the leaders with them. Oh god, it's such a... I should end the turn, is what I should do. If I end the turn, they break, they'll they route. The leaders will route. He'll have to spend his last two chain of command dice to, to avoid those uh, rolls. So we'll both be without chain of command dice. 
but he will your senior leader will be gone if I don't end the turn now you can just move your senior leader to that other squad so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna end the turn that squad breaks they're gonna route so you gotta roll three bad things you gotta roll well hold on did you roll one for team breaks earlier no so roll one for that three minus one and then you have two leaders in here mm -hmm. and I would recommend using those to stop because those are really bad things if, if you roll on them so this is gone and the whole barrage will be gone as well and it will be uh, actually I still have another phase alright so the board looks like this now barrage is gone that squad routed took the leaders with them all the overwatches came off and I get another phase another double phase but only a one to work with but two fives so I'm up to three and a one which I can do nothing with so your phase did you use your extra dice or does that just happen to land right next to it it's landing next to it so one two three and then two chain of command points so all Cole did was put both of those squads back on Overwatch again. So another double phase. Holy sh... What the hell's going on here? Of course now you're on Overwatch. It's not going to be as productive. Two twos and a one. I'm going to do nothing with that phase. Moving to the next double phase. Still no fives. One, two, three, four. This squad just moved back from the fence just to stay out of... Uh, range of anything over here that might try to shoot. So your face. Okay. Another chain of command points. You got chain of command dice again. So the tank has moved over here, obviously looking to burn my ass up. And that was it. So Soviet phase and that squad over there went overwatch. Uh, two fives. So I'm up to five. And uh, two, two, and a one. So knowing the tank moved up this way, uh, these guys are making a beeline for the fence. Uh, they, this squad almost made it all the way over, and this squad made it up to the fence. So German phase, double phase. I needed that a while ago. So the tank moved up a whopping one inch. So he gets to go again. So another chain of command point, and then try to move the tank again. So the, the tank again got a crappy move roll and only moved up two to there. Soviet phase. So there's my chain of command ice. But I don't have enough to mo move both squads unless I bring my senior leader in. Which I might have to do to get those guys over the fence. Both of my squads, uh, I brought my uh, senior leader in, Radmanovich and he ordered both squads over. I still have a three left, but I probably won't do anything with that. So German phase. So one, one, four, four, three. So his tank just backed up wary of the flamethrower ambush. I tried to spring it. I was gonna spring it before he moved, but I still wasn't. I needed him to actually move up a little bit, but he didn't. So he moved back. That's it for the Germans. I don't know what he's gonna do now. Uh, Soviet phase. Contended with a lure, but didn't. What's that? I said you could have contended with a lure, but didn't. A lure? Yeah. Your sacrificial pawns. Oh yeah, I could have. That's probably that actually would have been a good idea. Considering it's not your core platoon, that squad at least the one that you hopped the fence was. Oh no, it is actually. You because your other three squads are up at the top with their little green. Uh, circles. Alright, so two threes. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to wait, man. I'm on defense. Phase. Three twos and a three. And another chain of command point. So he moved that squad uh, back, ready to pull out. He got within 12 of the jump off point. He's no. going to end the turn. And then... I don't think the tank matters. But... Cement. Semantics. So he's ending the turn. He's actually you need to do that before you roll your dice. Oh, before I roll my dice? Yeah, you can't do that after. Okay. So I actually get another phase. Yeah. Uh, I probably should 
Yeah, let's see what happens here. Double phase, triple phase, or not triple phase, three sixes. Well, what do you know? But no, I can't bring anything up. Yeah. The turn ends. Oh, man. Wait, I still have a four, though. So Rad Minim Rad Monovich ordered both. They both got four. They didn't make it. I was trying to get up here for the next phase to fire, but they didn't make it. So he lost all his Overwatch, though. <laughs> <laughs> Four fives and a six. So yeah, you can end it now. Shoot, man, I was hoping to get some kills on those guys. Nope. Not today. Well, all right. That's the end of the game. He's going to withdraw before he rolls his dice, and we'll be back to wrap it up. Back to wrap it up. So we've computed the uh, campaign changes. So Otto Bach, his platoon lost three guys wounded. It turns out one of those was killed. Two were going to return the next day, which pretty means... He's down three total because they won't be a next day. Um, his own outlook is happy though for some reason. He's happy about the, uh, well, I guess cool. only losing three guys was a happy moment for him. Uh, Brad Monovich, his men opinion went up plus one. They didn't lose a single man. CO is very happy. His, uh, he went plus one. So we're at plus three on our CO's uh, opinion of us now, which gives us another plus one on our force support which uh, will actually, the force support goes up for both of us next battle. And it goes up another plus one for me on top of what we already get. Um, men's, and yeah, he's thoughtful, Radmanovich. So no effect for force morale roll for either of us. So you, uh, Cole, you have, well, Mueller, he's down nine. Axman's down five and Bach down three. So on the next attempt, I'm assuming you're gonna bring Bach back again, probably. We'll see. I mean, if I if I want, I mean, I'm gonna get a minor victory at this point now, regardless. Assuming you win. Assuming I win, well, it's minor victory. What for both? I think if you don't win the next one, it's, just it's over for me. It's victory for Soviets. Mm -hmm. So this was really your chance to. This was your best shot, but like you said, you got a horrible roll on your force morale. I mean, uh, your uh, support, which did not help. No, I mean, if I had gotten, my initial plan was hoping that my support roll was going to be good. I could bring in like a Panzer Pioneer platoon, uh, our yeah. squad. And How many points is that? Eight. Yeah, that's a lot, but it, it's a really good unit. Panzer Pioneer platoon or a squad? So yeah, it's same platoon. really good. Um, and then divvy out the other 10, so that could have been 18. Well, no, you can only get... Oh, 16, 16 I'm sorry, yeah. sir. 16, so 8, and then, yeah. Next one, though, well, 16 you might. 16 8 and 8, so I, could, I had a lot to play with if I had gotten a full roll. Next, the next battle, you're getting 1d6 plus 10 plus an additional d6. So you could really have a lot. I mean, you could have, what, 24? Yeah. Next battle. Uh, but I get uh, 1d6 plus 4 plus 1 more for my CO's opinion. So 1d6 plus 5. It could, so be, it's, it could be good for you, but we never know until we roll. It's a tough nut to crack on this one. Um, well, luckily for you, I wasn't able to do as much damage as I hoped on that, those relief wagons to get out of the... Oh, from last game, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that really, that added a lot of squads to my force for sure. But uh, let's go over our plans. All right, um, you first. So my plan was, considering how poor my support role was, was to, as I did, move the flame panzer up here with its 36 inch range. And then uh, originally also I was gonna push up through the village. I I had just been, so used to the way you have been playing and the fact that you were restricted on using minefields that I hadn't considered that uh, you were going to use a minefield to block off this way because I was going to bound up through the village <laughs> to push and exactly. use, the art, use the artillery to cancel out anything here or make it appear that I was going to so I was going to start here and then walk it over so it looked like I was pushing over and then just kind of right hook into the village well, I figured that you were going to, 
Uh, I figured you were going to try to move through the village. That's why I bought the two minefields. Well, on top of that, I'll get them there next time. Yeah. And the three entrenchments I bought, I never brought out, but I'm assuming I still have them so I can bring them out I think next it, battle. I think it says that they have to, you only get to keep the entrenchments that were deployed. Does it say that? I believe so in the Empire notes. Let me look. Ask him to double check. Yeah, it, it does not mention deployed. It just says you retain all static defenses. I never actually deployed three of my static defenses, so I retain them which is the way I see it. Of course, I would want them, so I would say that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, my plan was, well, pretty much exactly what happened. Um, use the flamethrower to, you know, scare you, to deter you from rushing. Um, your best bet, I think, would have been to just haul ass as fast as you can. You know that tank can move 3d6 too, right? It doesn't have to move 2d6. I know. I know it can. It can only move. It can move 3d6 uh, flat out with no more than a 90 degree turn. Right. Um, but I mean, at the same time, I had the flamethrower. But I guess the whole point, what I'm saying is, if you can get up here before I get the dice, you could be up here already and in my face. Well, that's true, but unless I'm within, what, three, four inches, you can still ambush me off the point and... If I have a dice. That's true. So... I mean, but we both built our dice way quicker than I could get across the table. Yeah, it's it's a tough, it's a long haul. I mean, you got to start from all the way in the back, and but with 3d6, if, I was not rolling well for fives at the beginning. I think you could have had the tank up here, but not the men. But then a tank by itself up here, eventually I would have a five... And then I would do uh, ambush. And I, I don't think a tank can cancel out a jump off point. I think it's only infantry. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't I think it specifies. I it's only infantry. I don't think it specifies, but it might. I don't. Well, we'll look at it. But yeah. So my otherwise my plan was just kind of to wait and react to you. If I had a half track though. Half track. You could buy half tracks. You could buy half tracks and a tank, and you could really get up here fast. Well, by the. Noya half track and I could really run up there. A little small one, but then I'd have like I have to leave one team way back there because it only holds a like six guys. No, it holds a whole squad, I think. Not the, the small one, not the oh, big one. Do they specify in the rules the difference between those two half tracks? I don't know. Uh, that'll be another, that's like our fifth thing we have to check. <laughs> yeah. I but mean, this, a this, regular half track is fast too. You don't have to buy the small one, just buy the full size. It's the size though. I'm it's pretty sure it specifies in. The smaller like list four it has the small half track instead of the large half track and that comes yeah but that oh i don't know i didn't look at it but i know what you're talking about and they do come with a, like a recon team in it oh that's true i don't know if it's on this list or not but oh. i know that that is an option but well, anyway we're getting off track here so <laughs> the uh uh i don't even remember what to say so wrapping it up uh soviet win <laughs> yeah. my plan was uh Pretty much what happened, uh, just react, use that flamethrower to uh, deter him, block him here with the with the two minefields, make him come out this way. Getting that, killing that uh, spotter was just a bonus. But I knew as, as soon as I saw him there and I was over here, I thought, man, if I could take out that spotter and then end the turn, the barrage goes away, he won't be able to recontact the battery and bring it back in. And well, I should have done, looking at it now, I should have put it right here in the corner and had that 45 degree arc past the building. You'd have to put yourself way out in the open. Yeah, I would not have been able to do that because I would have to get too close to the fence and you could have flamed me. I was really surprised. There was at one point you could have moved a squad and fired because I was within four with the flame tank and you did not notice that. No, I had my, my guys were in the way. But I mean, you could have moved them. You had the dice to actually order them to move and then use the three to fire on on them. Of course, I guess I could have interrupted and moved out of the way. But then I wouldn't have, if I did that, I would not have been able to end the turn and make the squad route. Oh, oh, oh you're speaking of, I'm, I was imagining when you were uh, early, way early on, when you first ran up here and then I tried to shoot you and you ran away. No, this was a little bit later when it was actually this squad that was within four of the fence. And you had the dice to move them, 
and fired the tank at them. And I would have had to use my last chain of command dice to get him out of the way. But he didn't, he didn't catch that. So I, was, I consider myself lucky there. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, good game for me. Uh, it's tough. This is a hard game for the, for the Germans. If the Soviets know what they're doing and they don't deploy prematurely and just get wasted, it makes it very hard for the Germans. So we'll give it another crack next time and this will be the last uh, attempt that Cole's going to have to uh, get a victory. So he's a, pretty he's, sure. Well, they double check that. Yeah, too. we'll double check, but I'm pretty sure of that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching this one. Uh, check out the Paint All the Minis Patreon page. Check out the website. Check out the YouTube channel. Uh, a lot of good stuff there. Uh, a lot of good content. And, you know, join the Patreon and see what's going on there. And uh, that's it for, for us. So we'll catch you guys next battle.